As a prominent East Coast city, Greensboro has the opportunity and obligation of cultural innovation in community spaces. The artist block takes a leading role in creating such a space. This is GSO Vibes. We met with the founders of the Artist Block, Darlene and Trish, to find out what this visionary venue is all about. The niche is precisely the fact that all arts are welcome and encouraged. That is how Creative Fusion became one of their biggest recurring events. And I remember him asking us, so where do you make the most money at? And at that time, we only had one event, which was Creative Fusion. He was like, we need to increase your programming then. And that's how we became a venue. So I tell people all the time, we're not a club. We are literally an arts venue um, that that infuses all the arts here, and um, and that's our niche. At the Creative Fusion we attended that celebrated their seventh anniversary, we saw guitarists, rappers, drummers, dancers, comedians, hula and fire dancers, body paint artists, singers, and even artisans and tarot readers. This month in August, we will have been in business for seven years. We did not go to school for business. All of us are artists, but we built the artist block with the community in mind. We wanted people to feel comfortable here, but predominantly we do have, I would say like a 90% black arts community that comes here. I feel like we've created a safe place for them to be themselves and be as expressive and creative as they want to be. That this venue is black owned and supported most strongly by the black community of Greensboro is all the more reason for the artist block to be a center of inclusivity in our city. Initially, when we first opened, uh, and even now, like we're open to everyone. All are welcome, come as you are, <laughs> you know? But the black people are who came and who stayed and supported us and lifted us up and were there during good times, during bad times, during indifferent times, you know? And uh, because we are black, it has a family-oriented vibe of the artist block. And we, Again, we're inclusive, so people who come from whatever culture or background, every, everybody's welcome to come in here. The founders are particularly proud of the Artist Block's success because of their independence and resilience at the start of the business. We didn't have any financial support, outside financial support. We self-funded the business. Um, and just seeing it grow and seeing people continue to gravitate to it, you know, and um, tell us how they love it, it's a safe space, they're so happy that we're here. We've given them something that they did not have, you know, prior to coming. And what's more, they're not done yet. Aside from launching their own YouTube podcast and film series, the founders intend to grow the artist block and spread the concept as far as it will go. A chain. So now we would like to be a chain and have different artist blocks in different communities. Artist block Atlanta, artist block New York, artist block LA. Um, and kind of follow the House of Blues model, where it's mm -hmm. like the restaurant, but you also have the venue component, where we're able to start tapping into um, touring companies and bring in larger acts here, still having a community base that can't leave because that's what built us to be where we are. And that's what the people love about the artist block is the underground aspect of it and the fact that you can come here, any type of artistry that you want to do, you can do it and feel comfortable and embraced. You know what I mean? We're not going to boo you or nothing like that. We just want to encourage you, you know? <laughs> Special thanks to this episode's sponsor, the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce. More GSO Vibes content can be found on our YouTube, Patreon, and website at gsovibes.com. <laughs>